Hey guys, you're welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Oma. I'm sure some of you guys are already familiar with this hat, right? Yes, this is the Odumodi inspired hat. So I actually shared a video on how I made this particular hat. As some of you requested, I make a video on that. So I'm going to take you guys step by step on how I actually actualized this. Like how I made this. So you should definitely hit my subscribe button. You know, put a notification bell and keep watching. Let me put you guys, okay? Now for this tutorial, I'll be working with my 4.0 millimeter hook. Just as you can see. And then these three colors of yarn, which is the red, black and the white. Um, my pair of scissors, just like this. My stitch marker, very, very important. And uh, lastly, my measuring tape. So let's put that together and let's begin. Now to begin, make a slip knot just like this and then insert your hook right between that um, slip knot and chain up four. Yeah, so be chaining up four, which is our foundation chain towards making this uh, magic ring. So if you don't know how to make a magic ring, basically this is what you should do and then slip stitch just like this so after that yarn over just like this insert your hook right between the middle of that magic ring which you've made or the magic circle rather and pull through you are left with three strands of yarn then you pull through all so basically this is how to make a half double crochet stitch so we'll be making a total of eight half double crochet stitches right inside this magic circle or the magic ring so ensure you are counting um while you are making that that make sure you have eight eight half double crochets right in that circle and when you get to the end of that i'll be showing us what to do next yeah so keep working half double crochets just like this pull through all that's it so i have completed a total of eight make sure you pull through the string to tighten your circle now insert your hook right at the very first um chain space there and make a slip stitch just like this so we are done with this particular round and you chain up one so that's it now yarn over and make a half double crochet stitch on the first chain space right there make another half double crochet on the same chain space that is two half double crochet stitches on the very first chain space i'll quickly use my stitch marker to mark my first chain space to know where i started from yeah so this particular round should be around one on round one you are making two half double crochet stitches in each of the various eight chain spaces we have here so that means you should have a total of 16 half double crochet stitches do you get that like two half double crochets in each of the eight of which when you multiply by two you should be having a total of 16 half double crochet stitches so keep working your half double crochet stitches and i will meet you guys right at the end of the row and i'll show us what next to do yeah yeah and we are almost approaching the end and once you're done take off the stitch marker just like this and make a slip stitch on that very first chain space we have there so slip stitch done so this is basically what we did for round one two half double crochets in each chain space making it a total of 16 right here so for the next one for the next row which is row two chain one yarn over and make two half double crochet stitches on that first chain space so this is one half double crochet right 
yeah so yarn over again make another half double crochet on that same chain space which is two half double crochets on the first chain space insert your stitch marker to mark the beginning of this row on the next chain space you're going to be making one half double crochet stitch on the second chain space just like this one on the third chain space yarn over and make two half double crochet stitches on that particular chain space so this two this is the second chain space right there right yeah on the next one you'll be making one half double crochet on the next one two half double crochet on the next one one half double crochet on the next one two half double crochet yeah so do exactly what i'm doing and that's the pattern for this row two one half double crochet stitch right two half double crochet one half double crochet two half double crochet but remember that we started this row two with an increase which is two half double crochet so when you're working towards the end of this row ensure you end without an increase yes that's the pattern for this row and i'll meet you guys when i get to the end okay so i'm almost approaching the end of this row and i just made um and i'm about making the last half double crochet stitch which is a single one remember i said you're ending with one half double crochet if you start with an increase end without an increase if you start with an increase end without an increase so i took off my stitch marker and i'm making a slip stitch right now so that's the end of row two guys so for row three i've already chained one just like this the next thing is to yarn over and make one half double crochet stitch on the very first chain space yarn over again make another half double crochet on the next chain space just like this on the third chain space yarn over and make an increase which is two half double crochet stitches in one chain space just as shown yeah that's two so for this pattern sorry i'll quickly insert my stitch marker so i'll know the beginning of the row so on the next chain space make one half double crochet stitch just like this on the next one make another half double crochet on the third one make an increase which is two half double crochet stitches in one chain space so basically guys this is a pattern for row three which means that row three you are making an increase on the third chain that is that is one half double crochet one half double crochet two half double crochets so that's the pattern for this row and i'll meet you guys at the end of this row okay yep and right now i'm almost at the end of this row three of course i am ending with an increase which is two half double crochet stitches in the last chain space just as shown so this is basically what i meant with when i said um when you start with an increase end without when you start without end with so that's what i just did and make my slip stitch and that's the end of row three so for row four i'm going to chain up one just like this and i am going to start with an increase so two half double crochet stitches on my first chain space just like this one two so that is my increase and now i'm going to be making one half double crochet stitch here another half double crochet stitch beside that another half double crochet stitch beside that and now i am going to be making an increase which is two half double crochet stitches on that same chain space did you get the pattern so i started with an increase i made three normal half double crochet stitches along the row and then made an increase so that means you are increasing on every fourth chain space for row four you are increasing on every fourth chain space for row four so that's basically what i am doing and you should also use the same pattern for this particular row just like this and i'll meet you guys at the end of this row okay so do exactly as i do and you'd meet me at the end so right now i'm almost approaching the end of this row four and i'm definitely ending without an increase which is um 
one one half double crochet stitch here one half the one half double crochet stitch and then i'll make a slip stitch to end this particular row so that's just it for row four so yeah basically this is the end of this row guys and on the next row which is row five i would like to introduce a new color which is the white yarn which you can see here so i'm just going to loosen out that slip stitch so i can actually introduce my white yarn properly so insert your hook as if you want to make a slip stitch that's when you'll be inserting the white yarn so i'll quickly grab my white yarn and pull through that so i'll just get that ready to be introduced into my new um to be introduced into my new row which is the row five yeah i'm introducing the white yarn at row five so pick up your your project just like this and then slip stitch the white yarn just like this like pull through all so that's it and chain one to begin the new row so i'm going to fasten off everything make sure you pull both colors tightly before you cut out and not so that's where i'll be using my scissors and i'll snap that off yeah i'm going to cut out this part just like this that should be around an inch or less than just something that you can be able to knot together yes something you can be able to knot together so i'll just pull through this so i don't um loosen out what i've already done i would flip my work over to the back and secure the back like secure the these ends together at the back so tie them twice yes make sure you tie twice at any point you're introducing a new yarn tie twice please so your project doesn't loosen off so back to what i was saying for row five now i am going to start without an increase so yarn over just like this and make five half double crochet stitches just like this so that's exactly what you're doing for this row five so i'll quickly make the first one i've already yarned over and now i've been starting my hook right on the very first chain space just like this and this is my first half double crochet stitch so insert your stitch marker just to mark the beginning of that row yarn over again and make another half double crochet stitch on the next chain space and here is the fourth one just like this and the last one which is the fifth half double crochet stitch so on the next chain space which is the, the sixth one make two half double crochet stitches right on that very chain space so do you get that so that means on row five you are making five half double crochet stitches and one increase on the sixth one so on the next chain space keep making your normal half double crochet stitches along the five chain spaces along this row and on the sixth one make your increase okay so that's the pattern for row five and that's exactly what i'll be doing till i get to the end of this row and i'll meet you guys when i'm there okay so i'm actually at the end of row five of course i'll be introducing another color which is the black yarn right here after the white line for row six okay so i'll insert my hook just at that first chain space as if i want to make a slip stitch but i'll be slip stitching with the black yarn so i quickly roll my black yarn over my finger and then try to introduce the new color just like this and then make that slip stitch yeah so ensure you pull the ends of those two colors together make a chain one and then secure the back of that yarn yeah so i knotted the back of the two strands together i did that off camera actually yeah so for this new row so for row six i'm going to be starting with an increase which is two half double crochet stitches on the very first chain space and on the next chain space beside that i'll be working one half double crochet stitch yeah so on the next few rows i'm going to be working one half double crochets 
five times and on the sixth one i will be making an increase so that means for row six we are actually working five half double crochet stitches and one increase on the sixth one so that's the pattern remember i started with an increase for this row yeah so on the next row work one half double crochet stitch on the next row that's one another one two three four five and six so on this sixth one i'm working two half double crochets on that particular chain space so guys that's the pattern for row six you can see and i'll meet you all at the end of this particular row so guys this is the end of row six and of course i will be introducing a new color i'll be introducing back my white yarn back to the project so i will be trying to make a slip stitch as usual and then introduce the new color which is the white yarn right here so i'll be doing um a slip stitch yeah a slip stitch and then we have the white one so try and pull the end of your two colors like i always say so you can actually secure that end neatly yeah so i'll just chain one and then try and secure those ends together i'll do that off camera and when i'm back i'll show you guys okay now for row seven i'll be starting with six half double crochet stitches along this row just as you can see i'm on the second one now the third i'll be making the fourth one fifth yeah sixth and on the seventh one i'll be making an increase which is two half double crochet stitches on that same chain space i'm sure you can see this clearly right you can actually count that to confirm yeah um so on the next chain space i'll be making a normal half double crochet stitch i'll be doing that six times yeah along this row and on the seventh one i will make an increase actually yeah so keep working your half double crochets when you get to the seventh one make your increase so i'll be doing this pattern for row seven and i'll meet you all at the end of this row okay now that i'm at the end of this row seven i'm actually going to be slip stitching of course that's also where i'll be introducing the black color again and then chain one ensure you pull the ends like i always say to secure your project carefully yes i'm going to be knotting the two strands off camera as well so guys for row 8 9 and 10 we'll be following the same pattern all along and then i'll meet you guys once i am done with that and show us what next we should be doing okay so guys i'm actually done with my rows 8 9 and 10 and this is how far i have worked when i measure my measuring tape i'm arriving at 6.5 inches yeah so for the crown of this hat i am working with 6.5 inches because this is an adult bucket hat so you should actually check the diameter of your head and that's what you should be working with okay the crown of your head of the hat should be the diameter of your head and check out that measurement before you continue so now that i'm done for this new row i'll be slip stitching and be introducing back my red color again yeah so snap off your ends chain one and then tie your two colors together and make sure that everything is neatly secured so your project doesn't lose enough from any point okay so now guys for rows 11 i'll be working one half double crochet all around one half double crochet all around each of the stitches with no increase so start working your normal half double crochet stitches one on each chain space yeah no increase remember no increase yeah so that's what you'll be doing for this particular rows 11 so keep working your half double crochet stitches that is for the body part yeah so that means that we are working on the body part of this hat so keep working one half double crochet 
all along and i'll tell us what we should do okay still on the body part of this hat we are not supposed to make any increase on the body part of this hat right yeah so from this particular rule 11 i'm going to walk nine more rules from here like i'm going to be walking to my desired length yeah so i'll meet you guys when i hit my desired length and i'll show you guys what next and this is how far i have walked i walked nine more rules in total i have 10 rules here if you measure with your tape that's about three inches okay but i'm still i still want the hat to go down a little bit more so i'm going to be introducing the white yarn yeah i'm still going to make a rule of white a rule of black and a rule of white again okay yeah because i want this hat to go down a little bit so for rows um for rows 11 of this body part i am going to introduce the white yarn just like this okay as if you're trying to make a slip stitch just introduce the white yarn and yeah we should start working normal half double crochets okay like one half double crochet on each chain space snap that off make sure you tie up together the two colors and secure the back before we continue <laughs> So guys i'm actually done with all that yeah if you noticed from this hat you see that i stopped making increases from my row 10 which is the last stitch for the crown okay why for the bad for the body part the body part started from this red which if you might if i measure with my tape i have uh three points about 3.5 inches yes because i want this hat to slope down a bit more so right now we're going to be focusing on the brim or the ruffle part so after this white half double crochet stitch i'm going to be working with a black like i'll be introducing my black yarn okay so to start working on that brim part i'll be introducing this black yarn yeah so carefully roll your yarn and try and introduce this new um to introduce this black back to the project okay make sure you're holding your project tightly and you make a slip stitch just like this okay make sure you're pulling your the two colors together okay and then chain one then we will make one half double crochet stitch on the first chain space just like this okay make another half double crochet stitch which is two make the third half double crochet stitch on the third half double crochet stitch you're going to be making an increase right on the third half double crochet which we just made so ensure you have two half double crochet on the third chain space okay so for this particular row we are increasing on every third chain okay we are increasing on every third chain so work another one half double crochet two half double crochet okay three half double crochet on that third one you should be making an increase right there so that is the pattern for this particular row 14 i think or let's call that row one of the brim parts because this hat is in two is in three parts which is the crown the body or the base and then the brim or the ruffle so for this ruffle part this is exactly what we are doing for this particular row okay so that's what you should be working and i'll meet you guys at the end just like this and i'll show us what we should be doing next okay now for row two we are going to be making three half double crochet stitches all along this row and on the fourth one we are going to be making an increase on the fourth one okay so insert your stitch marker and let's start crocheting okay so this is three four 
on this fourth one we'll be making two half double crochet stitches in one chain space just as shown one two three four so on this particular fourth one you'll be making another increase so this is the pattern for row two okay so row one i was increasing on the third chain for my row two i'm increasing on the fourth chain because i'm trying to kind of alternate the ruffle pattern of this hat i do not want it to come out so defined like a full ruffle i want it to be a bit wavy yeah because i'm making this for a male not for a female if it was to be for a female i'll try to make the pattern more defined i'll just work um i'll just make an increase on the third chain for three good rows okay but this is for a male hat so i'm trying to be careful with the pattern of the ruffle i don't want it to be so ruffled i just want it to be a bit wavy and not too ruffled okay so i'm inserting a new color here the black yarn over to the project okay because this is row three of the brim so snap that off secure your ends together and then let's start working on that black row okay so that's row three now that we're about doing so for row three now we will be working three half double crochet stitches along this row and then on the fourth one we will make an increase okay three half double crochets on the fourth one you make an increase so that's the pattern for this row okay i'm just going to make three half double crochet on the fourth one and make an increase for this row three okay that's just the pattern which you are going to be doing it's just like the previous one because now you're trying to make the ruffle um a bit defined okay just so that the waves can stay in place so that's what you should be working um along this row and i'll meet you guys at the end of this particular row so i can show you what next to do so guys i'm actually done with that particular black row and this is what my project is looking like as you can see the the ruffles are coming out and getting a bit defined but not too ruffled just the way i want it okay remember i started my ruffle from the second black yeah that's when i started making the ruffle part so i'm done with the three rows of ruffles so on the fourth row i'll be introducing this red yarn back to my project okay so you guys know how we do what we do right yeah so just insert your hook as if you're trying to make a slip stitch and then introduce the new red yarn just like this okay um once you introduce your red yarn ensure you chain one and then secure the backs together secure the, the new yarn and the previous one together that's after you're done pulling okay snap that off secure your ends together and then let's start making our half double crochet stitches so on this fourth row we will be working normal half double crochet stitches all along this row like one half double crochet stitch each without an increase like we are not making any increase on this fourth row okay so start working your regular half double crochet stitches all along we'll be working that from here to the end and we are doing this for two rows yeah so when you're done working with this row this is row four you should do exactly the same thing for row five okay so i'll meet you guys once you get to the end of that and yeah and guys this is what our project is looking like like this is the finished look like this is the end i'm done working those two rows of normal half double crochet with no increase and that's it okay so this is what the hat looks like it's not too ruffled but we still have the ruffles so if you loved my video please ensure you give this a thumbs up 
ensure you share to as many as possible hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye